today we are going to <coughs> create an external services um, first all we have to create an external services I create um, NH uh, NC2 it has a Heroku um, link it has it is a banking application so how to create external we'll, we'll be using this in uh, um, name credential it it is the um, uh, it is an uh, anonymous and no authentication um, name credential if you edit it um, you can see no uh, authentication no key for this so I don't need any use ID password or key to authentication it, it is just for the sake of training here uh, let's come back here so I'm going to uh, in the quick find box you type <coughs> external ser services you click at an external service so go for the first one uh, if you don't use mail uh, from API select here and then click next um, external services to put an um, relative URL uh, I have the URL uh, configured in name credential to um, you need the schema so you know the if you define the schema you know the methods and then you, versions can be considered there are web services without the schema too uh, forward search uh, account forward search schema is a relative URL so schema validation completed successfully these are the uh, JSON uh, definitions uh, click next these are the available um, methods uh, add account delete account get account update account I select all I need all of them so what we are doing is we are registering uh, um, API methods to call yeah you can see here um, count type input parameters account type account name output parameters are here so you can see it created a class of um, the schema it is in in, the, in our repo the es2 underscore account details is it created classes apex classes uh, for delete account also uh, it created classes and then it this is a uh, schema definition it has input output information as well as it created um, classes click finish so we create an external service so it is at our disposal we can use it um, yeah this is how you create an external service you need a you need a name credential because uh, external service need a authentication first technically you should first you should create an auth name credential then uh, you should create a uh, external service config register an external service so that's how it works